Welcome to MovieGasm.com, where I'm going to be bringing you the latest and upcoming movie news and theories. And today we're going to be talking about what we know so far about the upcoming MCU project, The Thunderbolts. Now, this video, we're going to be talking about what we already know about the Thunderbolts, a brief overview on their comic book origins and what we could maybe see in the film. Now, if you guys do not know, the Thunderbolts is frequently compared to the Suicide Squad, and they're usually compiled of a team full of antiheroes that are mostly reformed supervillains. As of right now, the movie is set to be released December 20th, 2024, as the final installment of Phase 5 in the MCU, and is said to be released directly right after Captain America Brave New World. And at Comic-Con, we got the full list of who is going to be in this film with Sebastian Stan returning as Bucky aka the Winter Soldier, Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova, Wyatt Russell as John Walker the US agent, Olga as the Taskmaster, David Harbour as the Red Guardian, Hannah John Kamen as Ava Starr aka Ghost, and Julia Louise Dreyfus as Contessa Valentina. And of course, we expect to see Harrison Ford's President Thaddeus Ross, aka the Red Hulk, at some point in this film as well. Now, with the multiverse and secret invasions, or even possibly the Dark Avengers in the future, and the Young Avengers, hopefully this will be the turning point for fans of the MCU to start seeing some bigger and more popular storylines adapted for the films. Considering right now a lot of fans aren't so sure or happy about the MCU, this is a project that many are waiting for, and yes, this lineup is built of primarily super soldiers with ghosts really being the only unique one here i think of the way that they introduce things in the show so far with falcon and winter soldier and seeing val recruiting some of these members especially yelena in black widow the threats only requiring a primarily super soldier team could be good especially since they're expendable and as mentioned this is like marvel's suicide squad and val is sort of like amanda waller expect that there will be some casualties coming from this film. If you've made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing to moviegasm.com for more videos like this, as well as upcoming trailers and features. Okay, it has a lot of pockets, <laughs> but I use them all the time and I made some of my own modifications. Well, yeah. never. Now, quickly for the comic book origins, for those who do not know, the Thunderbolts made their debut in 1997 as the Masters of Evil in Disguise, with Baron Zemo at the helm. While Baron Zemo was undercover, the rest of the team eventually found this out and was able to turn the tides and take over the team. And the leadership for the Thunderbolts kind of went all over the place. They had various leaders from Hawkeye to Luke Cage to even Taskmaster. And as mentioned, since the Thunderbolts is primarily built of anti-heroes, they typically take on missions that are a little bit too risky, dangerous, or maybe potentially potentially illegal from the mainstream government, and things that the Avengers wouldn't typically do. And we've already seen that Val is this very shady person within the government, so expect to see the Thunderbolts dealing with a lot of shadow operations. Now, we still don't have much details on the plot and who's going to be the villains in this film, but of course, if we were to draw some comic book inspirations, the biggest one is looking like the leader, which we know is expected to show up in Captain America Brave New World, and is also the leader of Intelligentsia. So if they're taking anything from the comic books, we can expect to see this storyline adapted in some way. Now, of course, we have the Red Hulk, and while we did see the introduction of MODOK in Ant-Man and the Wasp, there's still the potential for him to return with the multiverse. And of course, we still have the brand new Ten Rings, of course, which we saw continuing at the end of Shang-Chi. I'm really personally hoping that all the films for Phase 5 can bring back a lot of Marvel fans, since many are starting to lose some hope in the franchise. But I think with the lineup we have next year, especially Especially closing off with the Thunderbolts, we could see some amazing Marvel magic back again. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let Movie Guys know your thoughts in the comments down below. What are predictions that you may have for this film? And any thoughts or concerns you may have about the MCU as well? My name is Matthew V. Haynes, and you can check out my personal channel linked below. And I'll see you next time.